Bad Wolves donate $250,000 in sales of their zombie cranberries cover to late Dolores O'Riordan's kids updated June 20, 2018. Bad Wolves donated all proceeds from the sale of their cover of the Cranberries song Zombie to the family of the band's late frontwoman Dolores O'Riordan, who was planning to collaborate with the group before her passing. On Tuesday night at the Gramercy Theater in New York City, the Los Angeles-based heavy metal group presented a $250,000 check to O'Riordan's son Taylor, 20, stepson, Donnie Jr., 27, and ex-husband, Don Burden. The check was also accepted on behalf of O'Riordan's daughters, Molly, 16, and Dakota, 12. Our sadness the day Dolores passed was nothing compared to that of her children and her family. In light of the tragedy, donating our proceeds to her children was the only thing that made sense. The ultimate goal is to present them with a $1 million check, and the fact we're a quarter of the way there is beyond incredible reflects Bad Wolves frontman Tommy Vexed. The connection that people have to this song, the stories, the memories and the kids who are hearing this song through Bad Wolves for the first time, it's a true testament to the timelessness of their mother's songwriting that will live on forever, and we are so grateful to be able to do this for them, he continued. On January 15, O'Riordan's was set to record her vocals for the track, but was instead found dead in her London hotel room. The band released their highly successful cover of Zombie as a single in advance of their debut album, Disobey, which was released on May 18. The track, which was first released by the Cranberries in 1994, hit the top 15 on the American rock radio chart and was number one on iTunes in multiple countries, including the UK, Sweden, Canada, New Zealand, Australia and Ireland. Bad Wolves will continue on with their What's In Your Head tour through October 13th with label mates Five Finger Death Punch, Breaking Benjamin and Nothing More.